Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is the matchup that you have all been waiting for. Flex Wheeler versus Andrew Jack. Wow, what a comparison this is going to be. A lot of people very excited about the future of Andrew Jack, calling him, you know, Flex Wheeler-like. He's very aesthetically pleasing, cartoonish. I mean, three-dimensional muscle falling off this guy. It's insane. This is the 2000 Arnold's Classics. Come on! Get to the chapa for Flex Wheeler. But don't worry, we're also going to have a look at his uh, earlier renditions, versions. 93 here, or there's some 92 as well we'll be taking a look at. But I decided to use that year 2000 of the Arnold Classic because he actually leaned down from 99, I think, and he was more aesthetically pleasing. And not to mention, there's all of the poses, so. Yeah. Take a look, guys. Is Andrew Jacked a modern-day Flex Wheeler? Mm, they're quite a bit different, to be honest with you, Diane. I think uh, they're both aesthetically pleasing. They both have monstrous quads. I think Flex is winning in the, the arm department. But that physique of Andrew Jacked, wow, holding his own against Flex Wheeler? Here's a 1993, I guess it's a photo shoot at best for flex wheeler it's it's very hard to size the the photo shoots you know sizing can get distorted things of that nature and it's very flattering for flex so hmm, i don't know maybe very close in the front double but personally i'd give an edge to flex here's the front lat spread now this is unbeknownst to uh, many of you guys a very strong pose for flex wheeler look at this the wheels wow not as big as Andrew Jack, but I think they're much more peeled, diced. Both guys look great in the abs. Wow, wow. Here's a 1992 of Flex Wheeler. And he must have been, what? Early, early, early 20s. Like, we're talking 21, 22, things of that nature. He doesn't look as good in this shot. This is one of the few shots that he did improve upon as he did, uh, you know, get a, a little bit older here's the side shots and take it for what it is guys the angles a little bit tilted dousely and flex's arms are huge and i know i'm gonna get some comments things of that nature but hey it is what it is you know maybe some uh some sights in those arms but anyway all due respect to flex wheeler he's a legend guys and his 93 or 92 this is even 92. It shows that he clearly would have had the edge in the arms anyway. He had a monstrous set of arms. 92 guys before they were uh, introducing sights. I mean, there's a lot of credible people in the bodybuilding industry that'll tell you when you know, that stuff started floating around, things of that nature. And he is just very cartoonish. So Flex Wheeler, wow, he might even have an edge in this matchup so far. Look at this comparison. Sizing, a little bit difficult, but I figured, what the heck, maybe we'll, we'll raise Flex up a little bit. He's probably maybe four inches shorter, three, three or four inches shorter than Andrew Jack. But either which way, Jack is ripped to shreds, gorilla. Ripped to shreds, monsoon, in this shot. Wow, wow. Definitely his better version, because there is the standard version. And if you will... I mean, aside from the, the torso length of Andrew Jack, these guys are mirror image physiques. Look at that. Tricep meat. Big man's manly chest for both of them. Wheels. Very similar condition. So, wow. Wowee. Turn around. And this is almost laughable. Look at the width of Andrew Jack. And you know what? This is a sad state of affairs. Because Flex Wheeler did not improve on his back shots. He always had a little trouble with this rear lat spread anyway. But he really, you know, seems like he's tucking his arms in. Condition's close. Condition's close. Here's a 93. And this picture sucks. Doesn't show any detail. But there is this one. And I cleverly put it on in the, on the blurry butt. And I assume condition was similar. We'll see a clearer shot in the rear double for flex. We're speaking of conditioning. But this one here, 
Yeah, Flex was uneven. He was not the Sultan of Symmetry, like, uh, like he called himself. But, you know, he looked pretty good. I still give it to Jacked. Now, the rear double by was a different story for Flex Wheeler. He was the Sultan of Symmetry in this shot. What a powerful pose for the, uh, the Wheeler man. And like I said earlier, the 2000 Arnold's Classics condition for Flex, pretty on par with Andrew Jacked. Andrew might be slightly tighter in the condition. Well, a much bigger back, but Flex has more thicker Latin surgeons, more three-dimensional. Now, you can definitely see that. Now, bring on the 1993 back of Flex Wheeler. And wow, look at the condition glutes. On Flex Wheeler, if you could imagine that one. Maybe not as big in the arm department, but his back looks thicker. His back looks more powerful. And this is a winning shot between these two, if you take the conditioning into consideration. I think he's more conditioned than Andrew Jacked. I just think that back is... It's uh, Phil Heath-like. But Andrew Jack, come on guys, he is awesome. He's huge, and he is a force to be reckoned with. And when you can match abs and thigh poses with Flex Wheeler himself, you're doing pretty good. You're doing all right. Definitely Flex maybe winning in the quad separation. Nobody's got a bigger set of quads than Andrew Jack compared to the waistline. And that's another thing. Andrew Jack, he's matching Flex in the waistline and beating him in the lat department. Incredible, incredible. And here is a 1993 Flex Wheeler. Wow. There is a lot of poses that I would definitely give an edge to Flex Wheeler for sure. The abs and thigh. Hmm. Maybe one of those. Maybe one of those. You guys remember that cartoon, The Gargoyles? It was around in like the mid to late 90s. Remember the big purple gargoyle? Goliath. Big dude all the way. Big dude. I think Andrew Jacked facially looks just like Goliath. I think he's a human version of Goliath. But anyway, anyway, little bit of foolishness to tie this one down. Here's the most muscular from 92. And like I said, guys, hard to show these photoshopped picture, or photo shoot pictures. Hard to size them. Definitely hard to size them. They're very flattering. But wow, was he jacked in 92. And here is the last say on this. The crab position, most muscular. Most certainly Flex Wheeler getting an edge in this bloke, for sure. Look at the arms on him. Look at the huge big pecs and things of that nature. Jack's got some big pecs too. Huge big quads. Feathering up the yin-yang for both dudes. Definitely could go either way, considering condition was close. I mean, using the 93, it's going to be a different story. I think his back was better, of course. His condition was better. That front lat spread, wow, from the 2000, unbelievable. So I guess using both versions, I would personally give an edge to Flex Wheeler, but that doesn't mean I'm hating on Andrew Jack. He definitely, depending on who's looking at it, could have got an edge, I would say. But I mean Flex Wheeler. Plus, he gets the luxury of using his best versions here. I am sure Andrew Jacked is going to show us something special at the 2022 Arnold's Classics UK, the United Kingdom, where Arnold won his first university or un universe title. Come on, get to the chopper. Anyway, guys, that was a pretty interesting comparison. Is Andrew Jacked a modern day flex wheeler? Mm, no, but he could be better. A thumbs up, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Have a great one.